you see soon. must row in these waters. Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. A betrayal like that is already a kind of death. Galen killed himself. Of course. And now I feel somewhat lifted. The weight is almost gone, even if my heart needs mending. Ah, while I have you, Eivor, I'm reminded. I have this for you. 
Keep it, knowing you have my highest respect, regard, and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. So, my Yalskona, my deepest thanks. And there's something else. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon. Eivor! Birna, you struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all fought hard, and now Grandbridge is yours. You have your home once again. Ah, soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grandbridge and the people in it. That is noble, and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. You want to live with the Raven Clan? And sail and raid with you. If you'll have me. Look at this. Who would it? I'll be happy to have you, Dringer. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. What's the meaning of this? Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randy. Best tell her the good news.
Greetings. What do you have today? Take care of yourself out there. Drink plenty of fluids. I'm off. Be well, friend. See you later. Practice Greetings. Absolutely not. We are allied with the Danes of Grandabridgeshire. Their Jalskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will, in more than one way. One of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She's a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king, but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Sheolbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. For all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The Honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now calls us friend. And to the south, Soma Yalskona and the Danes of Grandabridge have pledged their oath to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of- You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? Sigurd knows what I have achieved, and he would celebrate it more roundly than I have. But this takes nothing from you, all of you. For I sit among some of the staunchest wills and strongest fighters I have ever known. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd. May he return to us soon, and to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd!
May he return and relieve us of you. And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? That's a blunt enough. But it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open. And I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. If you're not yet drunk, you should be. This is a feast, and a celebration of Sigurd's leadership. Enjoy it! Just as I thought, you're- Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curs! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others, stay here. With me! Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Geatland. But with none left alive to spill their secrets, we may never know why. Here is one! <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Ah. Ah. Have mercy, friend. 
And you may find an ally with us. Mercy's earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East, newly arrived, and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound! Scratching your ass in search of silver! Put an end to this one! Your silence earns you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor! Give it to him! Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Go, and do not return. Ugh. I thank you. This is not mercy, it is death deferred. Whoever sent you warned them of the slaughter that awaits, should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him, we will find... To show mercy would endanger us, soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call. Oh, but I am. And if you cross me again, he will know I about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps. Good day. Chailbeard, are you well? I am, but I wish I could have risen to the challenge put before us, instead of just hiding here in the Longhouse. You are exactly where you needed to be, defending the people and yourself. I know. I just... Our forces outside were sufficient, and your father would have many unkind words for me if anything had happened to you. I know. I only wish my father's long shadow didn't darken my prospects here. I want to learn from you, not watch you. I have no doubt. Next time, then.
Good to see you. I want to see the Alliance map. Those Dane invaders, they came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. I'll make the trip east, then. Speak to this Finier myself. A good plan. Can you remind me what you do here? When you hunt any animal, bring it here for a trade. And if you get something really special, I'm happy to mount it. That said, though, I can't do much until you build me a place to work. It won't do tanning hides on makeshift tables and dirt. I must take my leave. So long. Hope to see you again soon. Sunen, guide me. Survey the area, Sunen. If it is strength you require, you need to look no further. Join me. Together we'll force open the doors of the Old Father's Hall. I would like to reorganize the crew.
Found who you needed? All right, bring out my lieutenant. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Go, Sune. Those invaders never stood a chance. Not when you are armed with Gunnar's handiwork. May I see your stores? I can get you that one easy. One's pretty good. Done for now. I have to go. See, put that gear to good use out there.
Have a look, sir. Know the witch. Suffering hard times, I see. What? What's happening? Finier? Oh, no, not unless Hafton sent you. I sent myself. I want to speak with Finier, the steward who should be working to put a king on that throne. Oh, you're in luck then, for I have found the man already. I'm only waiting on him to get married. Which man? Oh. You know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. 
Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attacked my clan. I want to know why and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. I killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who cannot keep the Danes in line? Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the arse and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham. He was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl. Made it clear. He wants a Saxon king married to a Dane for a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft, and the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. What do you see? It wasn't us! I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh! How nice to have a home to speak of, man! Mine was burnt to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dane or Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep. Without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together, not apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. You handled that well. Disputes between Saxon and Dane don't always end so cleanly. That was a clean result. A dispute ending without bloodshed is as clean as they come. Quite a brutal outlook. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I am not in the habit of killing kings, but I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes. For as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan, led by a Dane called Ruid, attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and amulets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Helfden's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well. And I am here to see that it does not happen again. 
Lately, I've come to learn you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else if not a king should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a oh, strong alliance. I don't yet have permission so to marry up? Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. Slow down. Something is not... Hold. There is smoke ahead. That's beeping. This place is heavily guarded. A man given to verse. Ah, uh, then little buddy, then little life. They mean nothing. <laughs> that should be the last of these pig faced cowards. Oswald will be relieved to know of this. Ruiz clan. They left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. I'll be happy to join you. Tell me when and where. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. Yeah. <laughs> 
A healthy seeming town. This Oswald Look has there. done well for himself. Alone Dane. Can't trust that. Be kind, yeah? As Christ will come up. Lords, ladies, this is a day of peace and fraternity. I asked you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Binir, our steward, to our guests of honor, Brothir and Broder, and to my lovely bride to be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfdan commands it. But you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, bro, dear, that The is... last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty ass. Bro, dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home. I won't be insulted here. <laughs> is that why you've come? To back this thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, Wolfkist? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowning the throne. It's made of less wood than, uh, this one. We'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruet's clan. But between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, Wolfkist, or you'll find it freed of your face. So... Easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your flaccid ego. My flaccid what? Please stop this. You heard me. That's it. She called us flaccid. Limp, weak, soft. Ridiculous! This is not how we settle disputes in East Anglia. We rode him down to a man. Stop! All of you! That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia's in the state it is. You are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Well, that's me done. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I'll find a place to lay my head. And, Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise. Seems Oswald has set out for the day. I should have a word with him. Clear the mess in the longhouse and wake my brothers with the coldest water you can.